ended with the host nation uh, getting seven goals in that match. Uh, so it's seven nil between Lesotho and South Africa. South Africa go to the top of Group A uh, with a positive goal difference, uh, a five goal difference in this match. Uh, Mozambique will be in second possession uh, with uh, three goals, uh, three goal difference positive. And in Group C, it is Angola that go to the top of the group uh, with a plus three goal difference uh, separating them uh, from Eswatini. So Botswana have it all to play for. Uh, goal difference may, may may come down to goal difference in Group C to decide matters. As Botswana next on take on Eswatini. For Angola, although they win by four goals to nil, they'll still be hoping for some element of luck in the game between Eswatini uh, with Botswana. So... So in what has been an exciting game that uh, delivered four goals, it really has been Angola that has really been asking the, qu the questions. 18 goal attempts, seven of them on target, four of them landed into the back of the net. They've really controlled ball possession for the much part of the game with the 59-41 uh, goal uh, uh, for ball possession. Uh, they tried to keep it clean and stay out of the referee's book, uh, but got two cards out of their 17 tackles really been a physical game uh, between the two teams that really were standing tall at each other but at the end of the 90 minutes it is Angola that go away with all the three points uh, courtesy of a brace from two of their strikers Salvador as well as Gastal So this is how it all started as far as the goals are concerned. Uh, Salvador doing well to win uh, that uh, uh, penalty. Dusted himself well after clutching at his ankle. They got up well and sent uh, Ramagella the wrong way and landed that ball into the back of the net, ensuring that the Angolans go into the half uh, leading by a goal to nil. Beaten for the first time there. The coach asking them to keep going and keep it moving. Such has been the attitude uh, from the young Angolan side. Second goal came from, from a set piece play. Maestro taking it in onto the box at near post. It found Tangao Gascao well positioned to head home. <laughs> Much appreciation to coach uh, uh, Sobrino. Well taken goal and stood up well is Gastao. At near post, no one uh, pressuring him uh, to head home. Uh, what was the second goal for Angola? Salvador started the matters for a the third goal. Solitary effort really from him. Uh, managed to beat uh, uh, Debu Hokopelang to really get one into the back of the net. Third goal for Angola. It was not done. They were not done at the young Angolans. A ball from a, a, a substitute, Afonso, got it into the box and found the leg of uh, uh, Gastau. Chases at everything as Gastau, your typical uh, box, uh, box player and striker that he is. Uh, faintest of touches and beat Ramagela, giving, Amaz uh, giving Angola a uh, four goal lead. So, with uh, in the 90 minutes that has been played, it is Angola that have gone away with four goals to nil. Mbali standing by with the man of the match. 
What a turnaround here at the Galvindale Stadium. Um, Angola did say that they're coming here to walk away with all three points, and they did just that. For a second time again, Antonio Moanza is our man of the match. A big congratulations to you. He's, of course, with his translator, Franco. Congratulations to you. What a game you had today. What was so different about today's game? You came back from a loss, and now you walked away victorious 4-0 in today's encounter. É que foi um bom jogo e não contava que ia levar mais esse prêmio, mas a equipa merece completar mais três pontos e é nosso objetivo, porque não podemos empatar, foi e vamos só pagar três pontos. So, first of all, thank you. Yes, uh, the team it deserved to win, so it was hard, so they came to this turn, to this game today to do what they have to do. So for the three points, they got it. They, they were needed. They were after this, this, those three points. What were some of the differences that you worked on from the previous game? Because we saw that you were hungry for goals. You had more goals on target, but you were struggling to convert. But today you walked away with four goals. What were some of the key things you worked on? O jogo de hoje estava um pouco difícil, mas a equipa estava boa e o objetivo foi mesmo esse para completar mais três pontos e foi uma boa seleção, o jogo estava muito bom. Well, today's game it was difficult and uh, our team they were prepared and then they were ready. So uh, and then they went to after the three points, that was the main point that they came here to do. So they got it. Thank you so much. Congratulations to you. Yeah. That was Antonio Moaz, of course, who walked away with the man of the match accolade for a second time, of course, against Eswatini and now against Botswana. And I'm joined here by his coach, Enrique Sobrino. Coach, a big congratulations to you. You did say that today it's all about the three points. You did just that. Mas o adversário também é uma boa equipa, luta muito, disputa bem os lances de, com toda a qualidade, mas nós conseguimos controlar o jogo e a equipa esteve compenetrada no objetivo que era ganhar. E conseguimos fazer um bom jogo, está de parabéns o grupo. Vamos procurar descansar e esperar o que vem na frente. So, today was a good game. Uh, we did everything that we trained. So, Botswana team, they were so good. They were trying to also to control the goal, the, the game, but we did what uh, we came here for to gain the three points. So we are happy and then we're going home to, to rest. You are now keeping your hopes alive to stay in the tournament. What was so special about the third goal? Because we saw the whole bench running towards the player. What was so special about that third goal? Bom, tá bom. Ele agora está a perguntar qual foi a expectativa do terceiro gol. Ele viu que o pessoal todo correu quando marcamos o terceiro gol. Sim, é... É como tudo, era importante marcar muitos golos, porque a própria competição, o regulamento, poderá ser importante o terceiro gol. Foi por isso que quando marcamos o gol, o pessoal todo vibrou. Mas vai parte do futebol, sempre que há gol temos que vibrar, porque é a coisa mais difícil, é marcar um gol. Acho que é uma situação normal. Então, hoje é um jogo, então sabemos que temos que marcar muitos golos. Então, sim, nos terceiros golos, yeah, so everybody got happy because we knew we need as many goals as we could do. It's football, so every time you score, you have to share. Congratulations, coach. Thank you so much. Yeah, obrigado. Obrigado. That was, of course, uh, coach Enrique Sobrino from Angola who came here and did the business. And I'm joined now by uh, the coach of uh, Botswana, Coach Gitu Mezi. Coach, a bit of a baptism of fire in your first game today. Um, not the results that you are hoping to get in your first encounter. What were your thoughts on today's opening game for Kotwan? Uh, we didn't come to the party. And I, I, I spoke to the players that they should be aware of playing Angola after losing their first game because they will come wounded and determined. You can see the way they were playing. They were more, you know, composed. And we made a little mistake and we considered the first goal at the difficult period of the game, the last two minutes of the half, and that's where it destabilized us. 
And coach, a bit of a physical game as well. We saw, um, you know, in the first half and the second half, a bit of bodies uh, falling all over. Coach, was this your team trying to also counter attack what Angola was bringing to you? Not so. What I could realize is that uh, the, the weather here is totally different, but I don't want to blame it. It's totally, totally different from, from home. We, it's our first time to play under such a heavy wind. You know, that could also have played played part, but we, we can't complain about that. It's just that we have to go back and, and, and re regroup. Hard luck, Coach. Good luck for your next encounter. Thank you. Thank you so much, Coach. That was uh, the coach of uh, Botswana, Coach Dudu Medipo, who, of course, was not the happiest of uh, the teams who are playing here at the Gardendale Stadium. But uh, these are the results for today. Mozambique earlier on, walking away victorious against uh, Zimbabwe and uh, South Africa thrashing Lusutu 7-0. And just now here at the Gardendale Stadium, Botswana not the happiest of the sides, losing to Angola 4 no. Well, it was a bit of a baptism of fire for uh, Botswana as this was their opening game of the Group C encounter. And of course, for Angola, it was their second game. A very important game for them because they lost to Esatini. And this game really was the game that they needed to win to keep their hopes alive for this tournament. But now let's confirm the groups as to the group standings and just how things are shaking up as well. So in Group A, as we did say earlier, Mozambique sitting at the summit and a very important win for South Africa, bringing them to four points and also keeping their hopes alive for this tournament. Of course, they still have one more match left in order to book their place in the next round. Group B, we have Malawi and uh, Zimbabwe still at the top and they will be in action tomorrow. And uh, Group C, this is how things are shaking up. Angola rising straight to the top, of course, on goal difference over Eswatini. And uh, Botswana yet to also pick up a win, but they still have a fighting chance in the Group C group. Well, this is where we leave things here at the Galvindale Stadium. What an emphatic victory for Angola. A hard-fought one and a, and a particularly important one for them to ensure that their hopes stay alive in this tournament. But as things stand, Botswana can still come back from the remaining two fixtures that they still have. Well, from me, Mbaliskiti, and the entire team that is behind this awesome production, from us at the Galvindale Stadium, cheers, bye. Thank you.